This is dasmo.com, your best water cooling store, and I'm Das. And this is part four of my complete water cooling guide. Today, no more theory, we'll look how to select your CPU block. Those days, selection is much easier than used to be. Everything will define the type of the processor you have. Simple as that. And this is just a question of compatibility of the mounting mechanism of the block and your motherboard. Selection is not very huge. It's either AMD or Intel. And Intel is just define what kind of LGA socket you have. Because the distance for mounting mechanism for each LGA socket is different. So you know what you have, 1156 or 1366 and this will define what kind of mounting mechanism you have. The number one question I'm getting about selection CPU blocks is about performance. People asking me, which one is the best? Well, this will make a lot of people angry now, but I tell you this. The current crop of CPU blocks is so well executed across different manufacturers and designed so well stolen from each other. So, they all act the same in the difference between them is a fraction of degree, which within of the margin of error. We did a test this summer and you can see result in our website in the review section. And you will see that to make a, any meaningful graph, I have to scratch, stretch um, the graph so much so we can actually see separate lines instead of one line when we did our test. So whatever people saying you that one block kicks other block, the all splitting hair. And what you need to look at when you select your block, first of all, it's how it looks and if it's something that you like. Second, you see how much stuff they give you extra and it's give you some additional value to the block. And the third, if you're building complicated loop, you may look on the restrictions level. Because if block is more restrictive than other block and you have a lot of components in your loop, you don't want water like go to the crawling speed and that will affect your performance at the end. But let's say if you have a single loop design, you can select whatever you want and it will be the same. With performance question out of the way, let's look into a few technicalities that help you to choose the best block for your personal liking. And to do so, I will use this uh, GPU block uh, because of the size and it's easy to show you as example. So, each block consists of three main parts. One part is uh, always exclusively made out of copper and it's attached directly to electronic component. The other part is the top of the block. Uh, it's can be metallic but a lot of in many cases made out of uh, plastic and it uh, covers your water channels inside of the block and make sure nothing leaks and the third component is actual mounting mechanism which attached the block to the motherboard and make sure it doesn't move anywhere the cheapest block is always made of bare copper and look like this when you buy it and take it out of the box it will be shiny and beautiful looking but over the time, a copper will get oxidated. So, in, eventually, it starts looking like this. So you see it's like kind of blackish. This is the bottom part of the block made of copper and you see that it's oxidated and became black. It doesn't affect your performance no way whatsoever, but it doesn't look as good. So, people come up with the idea that you actually can do some nickel plating or chrome plating that protects uh, actually not protects it covers copper with a very thin level of uh, other metal like this so you have the same copper inside but have very thin level of the nickel and uh, nickel doesn't oxidize so it's always will be shiny you can scratch it or uh, make it dirty, but you can always wash it very, very easily, and uh, that's uh, give you a little bit of um, the best, better-looking block. 
and it's also silver, not orange. Um, obviously, process of nickel plating adds a little bit cost to the blocks, and typically they cost from anything from three to ten dollars more for nickel plating. And this is a pure look thing. So if you're short on cash, choose copper one. If you can afford nickel, a little bit less hassle and it looks better in the long run. Okay. So let's look on the top part. For the top part, you can have either fully metal cover, so block is not transparent or anything like this. Um, it doesn't necessarily affect your performance, but it may it makes block somewhat heavy. So full, it's rarely used on a, on a graphical cards block for that reason, because if you have a big piece of copper on the bottom, and you have a similar piece of copper, let's say on the top, this block will be like I don't know three pounds or something, and it's it's a little bit stress on your uh, circuit board. So in many cases, the top made out of plastic, which much lighter, right? So the cheapest choice is the acrylic top. Acrylic top is a transparent glass. You perfectly can see what's going inside. So if you use a colored liquid or UV reactive liquid, you actually will see it, how it glows inside of the block. So it's a lot of bling factor here. Okay. The part two, you can actually have a non-transparent acetal top, which is a look like this. It's not transparent, uh, but it has different properties. So what's the difference between acetal block and, and plexi glass top or block? block? The difference is like this. Most, the most things that you will hear on, on the internet when you read the reviews, people will say acrylic cracks. End of story. Don't buy acrylic, buy this. Let me tell you a slightly different story. First of all, while, yes, if acrylic has some internal pressure point, like glass, it's, it's may crack all the time. And this is basically the price you pay for the ability to see through the block. But I would say that in most cases, the acrylic it get cracked, especially around the points when you attach the fittings, because people like put a really crazy force to 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 attach their fittings, especially for the newbies who just start making water cooling. Like naturally, you think that the stronger you screw your fitting into the block, is better, which is not true. In most cases, you can screw your fitting with strength of your hand, and that's it. But people use like wrenches and like you know trying to kill it. And um, you just crush the glass very easily. So, and I think a lot of people don't really want to admit that they did a stupid thing. So they flew um, like forms with oh, this, this piece of crap, it's crap. So, anyways, it's I don't think it's always the case. Secondly, about acetal, that's something you wouldn't see on the forums for sure because I don't see it a lot but I tell you this as a seller I have more people killing threads on acetal tops than I have problem with acrylic tops why? because acrylic is a somewhat hard material that's why it cracks actually the acetal cannot crack it's a soft plastic but if, if you're not careful and don't put your fitting Pro properly on your threads and and put it in carefully you actually can kill threads very easily I have a tons of people saying oh this block has problems it's kind of kill threads and everything right I think there's a certain possibility that there's manufacturing defect but it's happened too often to be honest so I'm kind of trying to close my eyes on this but I tell you this guys when you put your fittings into acetal top please just try to do it carefully and don't kill threads and it will save grief from a lot of people including myself so anyways you have three options you can have a transparent acrylic top you can have acetal non-transparent top or you can have full metal block the difference in performance I don't think so again look on my test I have a blocks which is a fully metal and I have blocks with a plastic tops 
performance numbers the same. I know lots of people put um, a lot of comments on this video saying, no, 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 it's like whatever, half degree improvement. Give me a break, okay? Anyways, so let's look at what is the major options on the market for the current blocks. I'll show you the best blocks that performs more or less equally and the best sellers and um, you can make some idea what, what's in the market.